In 223 to 227, the snakes have devoured Laquan, or they are devouring Laquan. And the scene is uh, said to be similar to a sacrifice gone wrong. And so here Virgil uses the simile word qualis, just like the bellowing, the, the lowing, the mooing, when a wounded bull, a salcius bull, has fled the altar and has shaken off an ill-aimed or an uncertain, an unsure axe from its neck. But the twin dracones, the twin snakes, to the highest shrines, at a glide, flee. So the twin snakes flee to the Delubra Summa, to the to the uppermost shrines at a glide or by gliding. And they seek the citadel of Savage Triton, Savage Minerva. Both under the feet of the goddess and under the circle of her shield, they are covered, they are protected. So the scene here comes to an end with what Virgil had been alluding to in the previous couple of lines, which is that Laocoon is a priest here who was in the middle of making a sacrifice, but he is be he has become the sacrifice here for um, uh, on behalf of Minerva. The the um, the Trojans would assume because that's where the snakes end up. But not only is this a sacrifice, he's compared to a sacrifice gone wrong. That um, that this this bull that is supposed to have been sacrificed here, whoever was making the sacrifice did a poor job of it and missed the mark. And so the bull is thrashing and, and writhing around. Blood is going everywhere. And he has shaken off this axe and is writhing in agony. And then we go back to the main action here with the Gemini here, Dracones now, not, not, um, not the same words that we saw before, Anguase or Serpentes, but Dracones. And they seek refuge at the shrine of Pallas Athena, or, or excuse me, um, uh, Minerva. And uh, other than some pretty standard word order here, everything in terms of Latin is, is pretty straightforward.